y'all welcome back to my channel so i'm here to do a what's in my hospital bag y'all know i had to do it i'm gonna show y'all what's going to be in my hospital bag and i'm also going to be showing you guys some newborn and mommy postpartum must-haves like if you didn't have a baby shower like me i just went out and bought everything um this baby already has a lot of hand-me-downs from alexander so we didn't have to buy like a lot of clothes at all but we did have to go and buy like those newborn essentials that you know you need to have so first we'll start off with what's going in this bag so this is um my hospital bag nothing fancy it's just my gym bag i'll be dumping in here all the stuff i need to take to the hospital <laughs> so first things first you know you want to have a cute little outfit to take them home in so y'all really have not decided yet which one <laughs> which outfit he'll be wearing because i have so many of like my favorites i just love grays and blues so i'm in between so many but I know I want him in this hat. Like, this is so, how cute is this? Like, I'm probably going to decide at the hospital what I want to take him on in. But I did pick up these cute little newborn outfits that I know I possibly want him to come home in. So, I'm going to throw them in the bag. So, next I want to put him some receiving blankets in there. They do give you, like, um, a blanket at the hospital and stuff like that. But just to have your own or, you know, you want to take your own little picture. Next, I'm going to bring some burp cloths like these, y'all these are the bomb i can't remember where we got these from i think my mother-in-law got these for alexander but they are so bomb i mean i love these things because they're so convenient to just like hoop throw over your chest and then put the baby up there and burp so, so yeah i'll be bringing these burp cloths with me the next is diapers um with my first experience having a child they had diapers at the hospital they actually like gave me a whole pack of diapers so I'm not sure if I'll need these at this hospital I'm going to. I'm pretty sure they'll have like diapers and wipes to send with you and everything. But just in case, I'll be taking some diapers out of here, throwing them in the bag along with some wipes. You really don't need a whole bunch of stuff for the baby at the hospital because they really have everything there for you. So the most things you'll be taking are is like postpartum stuff for you. And let's jump into that. So, so next in the bag, we're going to do clothes for mama. So these are... Leggings on top of leggings on top of leggings. I know last time I gave birth, I was super comfortable in the hospital because I brought my own clothes. I didn't have to, you don't have to wear the gown at your entire stay. Bring something that's comfortable for you. And my most comfortable clothes are leggings and tank tops. Like This is what I wear around the house. This is what I wear just to be comfortable. So I'll be taking my mini pairs of leggings and my <laughs> mini tank tops. And my favorite fluffy socks. I, this is so funny because I wore these same socks last time I gave birth, y'all. These same exact socks. I don't even know how I still have these. You know how you lose socks? I don't lost so many socks, but I still have these. So <laughs> these like are my good luck, comfy after birth socks. So I'll be bringing these to the hospital so I can be comfortable along with some other pairs of socks and my slippers. And I'll also be bringing me some comfy bras honey this is great postpartum bras like if you're nursing I found these at walmart I, I wore these when i was nursing alexander and they work so good they have like a little snap right here where you can pull down and fling your booby out and nurse i went ahead and picked up some more of these bras and then i also like just wearing sport, uh, sports bras for nursing because these are easy just to oops that's super easy just to pull down and you know expose the booby and nurse that way too and these are a lot more comfortable than those bras in my opinion i really like sports bras to nursing so next is the postpartum finish y'all i get hangs because they run like a little bigger so you want to have that extra not extra room really but just these are super comfortable i'm gonna be wearing victoria's secret panties postpartum i'm just not gonna do it because <laughs> If y'all y'all know Victoria's Secret runs small, your cheeks be out. It's meant to be cute, but you want to get you some really comfortable panties. So I picked up some Hanes um, underwear. This is for postpartum, so I can be comfortable. Got the little comfort waistband. You know, you ain't got time to be cute postpartum because it gets real down there. It gets real real quick. Ooh. Yeah, this is the um, extra heavy overnight pads. Um, postpartum bleeding is real. Like you just girl if you if you had a baby you know what i'm talking about but you're gonna need a strong pad you're gonna need a real sturdy real good pad so get you some overnight pads and if you do bleed real heavy you might have to get some depends that, that's okay i got me the overnight super duper maxi pads to take with me and yeah we're gonna throw some of them in the bag 
And I did give me um, some ultra thin, just for when my flow lightens up a little bit, you know, I can be a little more comfortable in the thin pads, because these are what I normally wear when I am on my period. Oh, one thing I forgot to show y'all that I will be taking to the hospital is my yoga ball. It's, you know, not blown up yet. I gotta blow this up real quick, but... <laughs> This was a lifesaver last time. Like, it really helps you when you have the contractions just to kind of bounce on it and get comfortable because, oh boy, I remember I rolled into the hospital on this thing. <laughs> I think that's all it for what I'm taking to the hospital and what's in my hospital bag. And I'm going to move on to show y'all a few extra newborn essentials to have. Here I have a nursing pillow. Last time I did not have a nursing pillow. I don't know why I didn't go get one. I just did not have one. But this time I was like, that's on my list, a nursing pillow, because I know it'll make nursing a lot easier. I ain't never used a nursing pillow before. I'm so excited to finally have one. And I feel like this will make nursing just so much easier. You just lay the baby there and you can be a little more hands-free. So yeah, I'm excited to have this. And it's also a little baby seat that can sit in here. So this is cute. Oh, I like this. Make sure the baby got some wash and lotion. I got him the Baby Magic just because I love how Baby Magic smell. Like, y'all, I'm addicted to the Baby Magic smell. Mm. Oh, this smell good. And oh, this scent. It's a lavender and chamomile, so I got this just to try it out. See how his skin does. That'll be for his first bath, so that'll be fun with that. Next, for the bath, definitely got some hoodie towels. And this one is so cute. It's a little duck. It's so cute. So, also, some terry cloth wash towels. And I picked up a couple pacifiers. Like, um, I know a lot of medical professionals don't recommend pacifiers for uh, babies who nurse. But I wanted to try them out just, just in case. So, And then I got him a Baby Care Basics set. It just comes with the snot sucker, the nail clipper, a comb, and a brush. That's so next is for my nursing mamas. If you plan on nursing, then these are some definite key items to have. Uh, first, whew, you want to have a nursing pump. So, so excited, so thankful that um, through my insurance, I was able to get a free pump. Y'all, I have a Medela pump, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use this. Here's the Medela pump, but it just comes with like the storage bottles. It came with a couple, couple uh, nursing pads instructions all of that and here's the whole setup with the tubes and everything so i'm so excited to use this i went on and got the Medela bottle set because these connect to the pump at first i had the tommy tippy bottles because i really like those but i'm taking those back and i went on and got the Medela kind it's just more convenient to use this just in case i need to pump out and use it right then along with a bottle set you're gonna need a bottle brush you want to definitely make sure you have some extra nursing pads like these things run through so quick <laughs> yeah nursing pads are really great to have i can't tell y'all how many times my shirt was soaking wet soaking wet from milk especially at night like you definitely want to stick a couple babies in there at night because i always woke up with a milk stained shirt like all the time so, and breast milk storage bags and i really 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 like these it allows you to write like um the date how many ounces it is I like these bags because they can lay flat and it's really easy to store them in your freezer, save space. And also, another baby essential is a baby carrier. I really have the same baby carrier that I made. It's actually a sling. Baby carrier is really, really helpful to have, especially with a new baby. They want to be close to you and all that stuff. So, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I forgot some stuff. Like, y'all, I'm still getting prepared. I'm still, like, remembering stuff that I need for the hospital. I'm still remembering stuff that I need for the new baby. So, <laughs> it's all coming together slowly but surely. I'm 38 weeks in one day, so I could go to labor, like, really at any time. So, I wanted to go ahead and get this video out the way and set up my hospital bag and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm just ready to have this baby. I am ready to go into labor. I'm ready to meet my Isaac. I'm just so excited. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. If y'all want to see anything else newborn or postpartum related, just let me know and I'll try to make a little video. Thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all next time.